It's the Daily Doug. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the Daily Doug. Thanks for being with me today as we start a brand new week on the channel. It's a Monday today, and like most Mondays, we're making it a Metal Monday. Specifically, we're making it a Dream Theater Monday. I was prompted a few weeks ago by the news that Mike Portnoy has rejoined the band to do a poll here on our YouTube channel, and I picked, I think, four songs from Mike's era in the band, and y'all have selected In the Name of God from that list by a pretty decent margin, so I am happy to dive into that one today. I have not heard it before, and it comes highly recommended. So In the Name of God is from Train of Thought, uh, the band's seventh album released in November of 2003. Uh, the album's material was uh, written pretty darn quickly in about three weeks, and the entire album is one of the band's heavier offerings. Uh, I have heard a few songs from this album previously here on the channel. We heard This Dying Soul uh, as episode 391. That is parts four and five of their 12-step suite. Uh, more recently, I have heard Stream of Consciousness, an instrumental, and that was from episode 599. And I'm eager to get to this one. In the Name of God closes the album, and it's the longest song on the album. It was written by John Petrucci, and it deals with a pretty heavy uh, subject matter. It deals with suicide bombers and similar people who decide to kill for their religion. And uh, the song deals with them while wondering why they would do such uh, things for religions that supposedly advocate for peace. So, um, yeah, I think specifically the song is about the Branch Davidians who were led by David Koresh. Those were the folks that ended up being killed in Waco in that Waco siege in 1993. But there are several examples of similar types of things going on around the world. And I'll be curious to see what this sounds like and how everything fits together. So we've got James Labrie on vocals. Jordan Rudis is on keyboards. John Petrucci is on guitars. And as I said, the songwriter. Uh, John Myung is on the bass. And Mike Portnoy is on the drums and percussion. I'm going to be reacting to the studio recording of In the Name of God by Dream Theater. Off we go. <laughs> And as this one is the last track before Octavarium, I know that Octavarium starts with that F, so I hear F in this song to segue into that next album the way that they did. like a big five down on C. Sets up as a dominant prolongation. Woo. It's got that upper neighbor the D flat and it's going down to the B flat but it's staying centered right on that C there it is again so it stays in C Stray with the scepter and a gun. Come 
beast. Follow me. It won't be long. Okay. There's finally the F. It resolves to the F. Up to G. Up to A flat. Twisting faith into violence in the name of God. They made it back to hell. Cool. Back into four. They keep that riff. No, that riff sounds so darn heavy as we're down that C. I wonder if John's tuned down. That sounds like a heavy open string down there. Up a step. Lies, <clears throat> tolls, tools of the devil inside, written in holy disguise, meant to deceive and disguise, but divide us all. Back to this chorus. are just hitting me. So is everything else. Wow. And they know no other life but this from the cradle they are claimed. Like mass brainwashing. Devotion in the name of God. They're still around that sea. 
verse but they expand the crap out of it with these instrumental sections and there they get back to F of 
the question. Hear it underneath. This tap where a ball swift sword is true is long chain on. Brilliant. Glory, 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 hallelujah. Like I thought it would, it's gonna end in F. Funky. And I think that F's gonna carry on to the next album. That's an amazing piece of music, friends. I understand why y'all picked it. It's got a reason for being, it's got a real point of view. And John's not beating around the bush at all in this. The, um, the music is great. The solos are great. It's a classic Dream Theater song. I had never heard that one before, y'all. And I'm shook <coughs> by it. Um, I've heard similar songs or so uh, similar so songs that have similar uh, lyrical content points that they're making the one that i'm thinking about off the top of my head is uh, killing in the name from rage against the machine uh you know as i recall on that song the mantra was fuck you i won't do what you tell me right but also god what was the line uh, some of those that work forces are the same that burn crosses and that line kind of popped into my head as i was listening to this and reading along with the lyrics um, man, I want to look at some of these lyrics again. Uh, yeah, in the breakdown section of this, hundreds of believers lured into a doomsday cult. All would perish in the name of God. Self-proclaimed Messiah led his servants to their death. 80 murdered in the name of God. That specifically, I believe, is, is the Branch Davidians from Waco. That happened when I was in high school. And I thought they were nuts then, and you know, 30 years later, they're still nuts. You know, time and time again, we see how irrational thinking leads to irrational actions. You know what I mean? If we, I struggle with this, y'all, if we allow ourselves to invent reasoning for beliefs that are irrational, then we open ourselves up to being manipulated into actions and thoughts that are not based in observable reality. And we can lose our way and perspective quite quickly. Um, I hate to bring the, bring this into things, but it's happening right now. I think of the atrocities going on in the Middle East. And I truly wonder if these things would be happening if these uh, religions, these Abrahamic religions, didn't have such an irrational hold on people. You know, convincing people that they're inherently better than somebody else just because of their faith. I don't think it would be happening. 
you know, as there would no longer really be a reason to hate somebody that's not like you. You know, or to hate somebody that somehow worships wrong, you know? It's something I think about quite a bit. And the thing that I worry about, um, you know, as the world starts to, I think, rightly shun these uh, irrational and dangerous beliefs, those that continue to hold on to them will become increasingly militant uh, in their quest to maintain the status quo. Um, you know, to maintain their ideologies standing in the world. And when their credibility and their power start to wane and wane sufficiently, then they'll turn to violence to stem the tide. I, we've seen it time and time again. And that's really what I think John is saying in this song, doing things in the name of God should only be reserved for aiding your neighbor for breaking cycles of violence, not starting them, you know, for bringing people together, not dividing or persecuting them. So stop it. I say, and I think John says, uh, because you're not doing this in the name of God. You're doing it in the name of your own vanity, in the name of your own greed and self-absorption and fear. And uh, I worry about how all of these things are gonna play out in the world as we are grappling with it. We've, we're a global society now, and there are different types of ideology that are firmly held around the world, and they're incompatible with each other's reality. And uh, if people start really fighting about it, it's gonna be messy. And innocent people are gonna get killed. And I worry about uh, the future of that. Uh, this is a courageous song. Um, it's, it's a message that, you know, 20 years later is still needed and, uh, it hits home right like a ton of bricks because of all that's going on. And so I very much was enwrapped in that song. I wonder if y'all were as well. Tell me your thoughts. If, if you think I got anything wrong or if you want to add to it, because that's a fascinating piece of of music and I very much have enjoyed hearing it and and sort of emoting with it and getting into the nitty-gritty of it it's awesome and I can't wait to hear it again but that is all for today my friends I thank you for being with me on this metal Monday and we'll see you next time on another edition of the Daily Doug <laughs>